What are you doing? Running out of petrol. Why did you not get some? Because I forgot, OK? You didn't, we were Sarah. there. Sarah! You having a spot of trouble? <laughs> oh, you've got your babies with you. I left mine at home in his <clears throat> cage. He's a cockatoo. Are you French? I saw your reg. Petit de jeune, la bibliothèque. That's all I know. Handy, if you're hungry and you want to read a book, I suppose. And uh, bonjour, of course. We're not French. Righto. You need a lift? No, thank you. Hmm? Are you sure? I'm sure. What did you do that for? <sighs> Wait, Jack up. Mum, we're both freezing. Yes, all right, Sarah. Mummy, I'm freezing. Just put the heat on. I can't put the heat on because the car won't start. Should have got some petrol. What are you doing? Get back in the car, please, Sarah. Are you absolutely sure you're sure? I'm going your way. Hello. Oh, I'm Lydia. Do you like more mowers? Jack, come on, please. So come on, then. Who are our mates? I don't know. Oh, good dad. Well, you're a mum, why don't you know? Girls confide in the dads, boys confide in the mums. All right, so who are Noah's mates then, eh? Uh, the tall one from the shop. Jason? Yes? His name's Jacob. Oh, bonus round to you. This is really helping us find her, isn't it? Well, she could be anywhere. Well, what are we going to do about that? I don't know. Hey. Who wants a surprise? Oh, go on, you've got your underpants on the right way round. Hey? No? Well, I mean, yeah, I reckon so. Oh, Sammy, I'm really sorry, but we're a bit stressed here. We're kind of in a crisis. What crisis? You must have a couple of numbers. No, I don't. What numbers? Debbie's mates. Have you got any of Debbie's mates' telephone numbers, Sammy? Why don't you ask her yourself? Because, Sammy, and I know counting isn't your strong point, she isn't here. Yes, she is. Someone needs to give me a lift fast. Hey! Should have said you were coming. We didn't have a clue, did we? Sammy, why don't you get these two a drink and uh, something to eat, yeah? Yeah, of course. All right, come on, then. I've tried ringing you about 20 times. And I've been busy. What are you ringing me for, anyway? Are you serious? Oh, I haven't got time for this. Debs. Just one. All right, look, nobody's judging you here, but just please tell us. Why did you do it? Do what? You've been on TV. Hold on a minute. What has been on the TV? <laughs> hit and run. It's quite serious. I have not hit anybody. What? I haven't. Well, then it must have happened before she took the car. Have you dumped the car? Yes, not through choice. How did you get here? Because some mad woman dropped us off, OK? Now, forget that. Did you see my face on the TV? N no. And your name wasn't mentioned either. <sighs> good. So he's giving me a lift then. Where to? To get the car. Is that a good idea? Yes, that is a good idea. Because the 50,000 euros that I stole sitting in the boot. Oh, top discretion, Eddie Snowden. Your car's fixed. <laughs> 